Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. Though, in our last episode, we took some major damages. So, let's get in and hey, Commander. Be with you in a second. get our guys fixed up. So, the Avatar, it was just crits. So, that's one day. So we can confirm that. Right. I'll get it in the screen. And the hunchback actually needs a good amount of help. So we've got the ER medium. Now the medium improved heavy is one ton two slots. And I do believe we actually have another one. do indeed. So we can go with two medium improved heavy lasers. Now the heat efficiency goes down a little bit. We're 69 and 70. But we are going to punch a little bit harder, even though we have to get a little bit closer. But actually very good still. So let's validate that. It's going to cost us one day and that'll get everybody done before we hit the financial report and we have just enough time for another Job mission done, so let's get in and get it done oh what do we have here we've got this is amp ambush convoy we got a Ooh. We've got some stuff. But I do believe what I want to do here is I want the four and a half skull recovery against the clans. We're going to go 5 of 23 here. We're going to go all the salvage. Now, this should be the new one that we haven't built yet. Yeah, that's the new one we haven't built yet. So let's get over here. And then we get the Orion back in action with Orchid, where she belongs. And then we can get the Maxim and the Striker. Yes, we can. So it's Ajax on the Maxim, and we're going to get Omega in on the Striker. And let us go. So we, we can get up to 700 tons now since we've gotten the next upgrade. So we do have enough leeway to upgrade the um, the hunchback to the avatar 2 and that's going to be our next step but right now what we need to do is we need to get over the financial report with enough excess so that we can build the mech together properly so let's see what we can get Now, if we can find a fair amount of battle computers, what I'm thinking is going for something with the precursor to a headshot build. Because we do have, we did pick up the tracking battle computer, which gives us evasion ignore. And we do have some good uh, target. Uh, you know, the advanced targeting computers, which allow us to use the battle computers. Command interface initiated. Oh, this is good. I like this. We only have one zone to worry about here. And what I want to do is I want to get in. I don't want to go in high. 
the up here while we have the high ground what we don't have is a good way to get over here so what I'm looking at right now is approach vectors Because of the way the blocking force is situated, or the defense force is situated, we really don't have the best lines. So let's go right here. We'll drop down in the forest here. And we do have we do have a target. Oh, now I could get used to a place like That's this. a vector. I hear you. Pedal to the Alright, let's move it up. I want to stay out of line of sight of anyone who may be behind there. Got it. Now let's go. How's it going? I did not like that. Phoenix Hawk, a thug. Elementals. We'll take a shot. Reporting negative damage. All right, who's next? So that's the Phoenix Hawk. Receiving you. All right, let's move on up and we will get a shot on our boy here. Firing. There we go. That's the vector off the board. Vehicle killed. Ready for orders. I'm ready. On the move, full speed. Hmm. I'm actually thinking about dropping thunder over here. I don't know how much they're going to be jumping around. I have it. But let's give them something to think about. They are elementals. They do not have a lot of them. Armor. Ooh, big hit. That's Damage is minor, clan ER PPC or a heavy PPC. Back. Confirmed. No hit chance there. Not as much of a hit chance there. Nothing on that. We actually have a better hit chance on the thug with the arrow one shots than we do on. Should have watched your positioning better. On ah, rear attack. Have some heat. LRMs are up. Yes, boss. On the move. And Chaparral, also going to go standard so that we can get the splash out. That kicked his evasion, but he does get to move now. Good to go. Going turbo. I think I want to go swarm here. Because we don't have much of a hit chance, and Swarm gives us splash damage. Yes, Commander. Copy that. There we go. There we go. Again, just looking to throw out some damage there, whatever we can get.
Bylar's the same thing with the Maxim as well. Copy that. We've got plenty of ammo for the engagement. It's just a matter of throwing some damage out when we can. And first turn, we really can't expect... Ooh. That was... Interesting. No Alright, we're gonna slide over here on the left side. And it would be the Phoenix Hawk we are going after right now with a fantastic hit chance. Let's try to sensor lock and cut that evasion. We cannot. But we still get very good damage output here. Now this is going to be acid against him. Very excellent. He does get to shake off the stability damage though, unfortunately, so we can't follow up. Ooh, big hit against the Chaparral. He's got double Ultra 10s. I see you, buddy. Standing by. All right, we're just going to move for Morning. one here. Because we want to hit. And we're not getting much more uh, evasion. All right. Hellbringer. Okay. Yes, Commander. On the way. Double I pass. like this. Let's bring the acid. Let's go. Very nice. It's against the Phoenix Hawk. Live to serve. Without any evasion left. Can we get a direct line of sight on him? I saw one there. No, we're not getting to get direct line of sight. We are going to go Artemis, though. Fantastic. Let's go. Goodbye. I do believe that's the thug. And this is going to be guided ammo. Let's go, Warlord. 50%. Affirmative. Solid damage in there. LRMs are out. Commander? And with the lack of evasion, we should have good follow up here with a mega on the striker. So good. Let's go, Warlord here. Nice. That one's gonna leave. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, we can push up here. And I'm gonna go LK for this shot. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah, critical hit. It's a PPC up, down huh? and a crit. Full speed, no target. Unfortunately, you're not getting into the battle. You. Full speed, no target. All right, Chaparral. Knocking on target. More damage, and was that enough? Yep, that was enough to put him on the ground. Nice. get around this way and wowie zowie um, no 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 we want 
one center towards him. Toad's taking more damage. Very good. Ready for orders. Uh, there's Kraken's no chance. Just running. Got it. Uh, we want the head here because we want to clean the ball. Reporting. I'm your spaniel. Oh, we've got him panicked at least. I want to cut back here against the toads. Nice, a legging for him. That should make him much easier to hit. Ooh, that's a hit against the Nidhog there. Waiting on you, Commander. t is just going to move and shoot here. No acid, all Apollo. There he goes. Goodbye. Gotcha. Hey there. Copy that. We definitely have a hit chance here. One hundred percent, we go center torso. Target's taking a critical, waiting for orders. I don't think we're going to get a hit chance here. Actually, it's something. Let's move up, and we're going to go for the Hellbringer here. Because throwing an arrow at an elemental is just bad tactics. LRMs are out. Waiting for orders. Even if you do hit it, which is questionable. You're definitely looking at something that's going to be an intense amount of overkill. We want Typhon here. We definitely want a sensor lock. Got a lock. There we go. That's going to help counteract the no visuals. Commencing alpha strike. Nice. We got I one hit there. No shooting, just running. We're just gonna delete the turrets here. You know, I know, I know. We talked about overkill and everything, Farewell, but sweet friend. yes, commander. There's also a point where you just want to get rid of it. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. You got it. Go direct. Not worth guided. Locked on. Oh, we got the nice hit. And a knockdown. Put him on the ground. Need something, Chief? Understood. Move How's our range looking here? Not bad. We're going to Warlord this. And go right for the side. Very good. Oh. <laughs> and that would be all of his battle computers. <laughs> Looks like we went for the wrong side. Actually, would have been better off taking his center torso. But that's okay. Receiving you. All right, Kraken, you're good. What can I do for you? T-Bone, you're Go good. I await your command. Onward. 
Tech will end it. Yeah, um, yeah. Hope we can salvage that. Standing by. You're gonna brace, and we need Ready for paradox. On it. There. Get in. You're done. What can I do for you? We're gonna brace this all out. To me. Good to go. Standing by. Commander. Ready for order. And we are done. Very good. Nice successful mission. Easy pickings there. And again, clan tech on the board. We do need to think about money picks, though. That's what I'm looking for first and foremost. We are about 500,000 shy, and even worse now because we're losing. We need about 2.4 million. So let's see what we have. Streak six, that's good money. Ultra 10. Jumpies are okay. Clan Endo, that's good money. Ultralight Gyro, what do you bring? 900,000. That's 700. That's 750. Well, we destroyed a whole heap and hell of a lot. Cooling Pod, not a lot. Ultralight Gyro. That was nine hundred. See, these are 120, that was 275. There's only single stacks there. All right, let's take that. All right, so we get a bunch of parts. Three Phoenix Hawk 2Cs. That's an 80 ton Mac. <laughs> you forget sometimes. And we are going to sell pretty much everything here. There we go. That puts us over and above where we need to be to get through the financial report. Sometimes you just have to take these missions and push the money. Because if you don't pay the financials, it is game over. You always need to keep that in mind. Where where are you at? How much do you need? How many how much more time do you have? Did you take a lot of damage? Are you going to be stuck in repairs? All of these things you need to factor into can I take the things I want or do I take the things I need? Oh, you can see almost non existent repairs. And we are about 400,000 over. We will look at hey, engineering. Nice to see you. Morale and tech points for an upgraded gym. Only 200,000 keeps us in good shape. And it keeps engineering working, keeps the Argo upgrading. All things that we want to do. All right, everything is fixed up. Let's see. Uh, Mech Tech Conference, Seminar, Med Bay. Let's take Yang. Alright, here comes the financials. 
ready to go over financials whenever. One hundred and thirty-four thousand. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We got a whole month. One more day. And let's jump into it. Ambush convoy. I like this. We're going to go for the ambush convoy here. Uh, this one here. And let's go all in on it. Uh, it looks like we're probably a little bit over as far as drop cost versus payout. So we are going to need to look at picks as far as advancing uh, the financials. So what I really want to do here and why I'm actually happy to see an ambush convoy is I want to get my hands on better vehicles as well as better mechs, but I really want to get my hands on some better vehicles. We've had the Maxim and the Striker pretty much from the get-go. And as much as they have lasted through what we've been doing, we need something better. We need things that are more effective, things that are going to be more useful. So I think what we're going to be looking at in this particular mission is what vehicle parts can we take now, because it's a convoy there tends to be a good selection of vehicles interface initiated. Uh, that's where we're looking to find them now there's the denial zone All right, there's where we see them. I think we can drop on mass there and there. We want this spot. I think we're going to go for the rest of them right there like that. I'm hoping that one's not too close to the buildings. It doesn't look like it is. And we have contact. Ready to go, Commander. Time to get dirty. Our target is within sensor range. Panther, Stalker, Ballistas, a Highlander. Let's reserve this. Now they want to get here. And from the looks of their orientation, they're not moving away from us, they're moving towards us. Let's reserve it and see how they move. And we can make decisions based on what we're going to do and how we need to move around once we see how they're getting how they're moving through the battlefield.
And of course, this part is usually the most stressful since you sit there and you take fire. Especially with something like that. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Is that... I think this is smoke. Gauss rifle hit. Alright, come on guys. Panther's in turn 12. Losing a lot of armor here. Systems holding. Let's keep reserving. Oh, that looks like a lamp. You're going to be annoying. Got this guy. Archer. All right, who's next? Uh, the two ballista are in turn 15, as well as this guy. Looks like another Highlander. All right, turn 15. This is the one that's probably going to hurt. Yeah, it's definitely another Highlander. Looked like he hit his buddy Armor's in the back, though. Off. Oof. Oof. Losing lots of armor. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Taking some heavy damage. That's Hellstorm. That hit, Commander. All right, turn 14. I think we can turn around and start engaging here. Affirmative. All right. Smoke screen. It's an Orion 2C up here. Large building? Why not? Roger. Commander? Right, I want to get out of the smoke right, here. Commander. That's a pretty good hit chance against the Mongoose, and if we do get the hit, it's going to be a kill. Stalker is more dangerous, though. Let's go for the danger factor here. Let's go. Nice, we got him opened up. And this is the Panther. So I expect him to go after either the Strike or the Orion at this point.
can't take much more of this. All right. This is only a move because of stability. We definitely want Artemis here. And we're going for the Mongoose. Firing all weapons. This is all about hit chance here. Inflicted some heavy damage. How can I help? This gives us a follow up a on the mongoose. Which is just what we want. What do we have direct shot? It's only 25% there. Alright, let's go for the mongoose. Locked on target. Punched right through his armor. Almost trashed. Out. Full speed. All right, let's go. Cluster shot. Here it comes. All right, the mongoose is down. One third of Target support eliminated. lance number two. Good to go. Moving fast. All right, let's move on up, get out of the smoke. And let's get rid of that building and put the Orion down. Write it down, Commander. Commander. Solid fall damage there. And I do believe we are going to follow up here. Knocking on target. Well, not enough on. to get the splash, though, unfortunately. On the move. Full speed. All right, Maxim rolls out. There we go. Locking also going after the 2C. No rack because we don't want refire. Waiting for orders. All right, let's see what we can do here. Not much of anything. All right, you're fine. Orders. Confirmed. All right, let's get out of the smoke. Going to go for the ballista here. Primary target is damaged, Commander. We Keep do get a hit in on him. I've got your back. All right, shade. Sprinting. I want those one shots in there. You brought this on yourself. Got him opened up, which is nice. Take Unfortunately, we missed on the other one. Commander. LRMs are out. Let's move. All right, let's push Falcon to the front. It's a 7:32.
So he's got a hag 20. This guy's pretty dangerous. All right, let's go control bursts. As much as I am worried about the artillery tanks, that Orion is a nasty piece of work. <laughs> Shake the world. Okay, that was bad. Waiting for orders. All right, let's see what we can do here with Eck. We've got some very good hit chances here. And we have... I think Thunder is actually a good bet here. We want to drop them right on top of the Highlander. Everything I've got. And now when this tank tries to move through the minefield, it should be gone. And we don't actually need to worry about it anymore. This is also very good. There's his torso down. And all he, he is very light effective now. That's a big hit. Reporting major armor loss. Waiting for orders. I actually want to stay aggressive here. We're going to go Vigilance. Acid MRMs to the front. Roger that. And we put a hurt on that guy. Turn 19. Uh, Archer in the back, just a 2R, very standard. He does have a lot of swarm going damage. on, though. Armor's holding. Damage minimal. Can we get a good angle on this guy? Not really. Let's move. Well, let's get in here with the Nidhog. We're a little close. So no Gauss. Just the Smalls. What's up, boss? Let's see what he'll do if we get right in his face. We're gonna hot load this with Artemis. Standing by. All right, conquistador. Go Warlord. The Highlanders are our only good hit chance here. Let's rack it up and go for it. He's nicely stressed out. I like to see that. Turn 18. That's the uh, 
That's a what? It's a mad cat lamb. That's the LBX in that arm and the two X pulses. Not really the arm that we want to lose there. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I think I want this ballista here. Target locked in. Well, we missed. Unfortunately, we did clear the mines out. He's still sitting on one. So depending on how he moves will depend on whether or not he takes the damage. I do think if we had hit the ballista that we were aiming for, splash damage would have destroyed it. Ouch. They punched through my defenses. Then okay, that was bad. Alright, this is left side, so we want this side here. Roger that. We're gonna get in here, we're gonna take out this ballista. I'm just done. We're not messing around with that. Here it comes. Primary target taking damage. Alright, you're down. Vehicle destroyed. Hey, that's an alicorn. There goes the chaparral. Okay, fortunately, just machine guns there. I'm here. All right, Kraken. Let's get out of this and go for this. You're gone. And we knocked somebody on the ground, looked like. Yeah, it was the Mad Cat. Commander? Alright, T Bone. We're going control burst here, which looks like we should be close, but we're going to take the risk anyway. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. This ballista needs to be a high priority target right now. Especially since his Hellstorm is unjammed. Let's get overload going here. Did we got it. Alright. Vehicle killed. Yes, Commander.
All right, let's cruise around this way, get in the back of the Orion, and see if we can not take him down. Now let's get a sensor lock on it. Let's try to lock this up. There we go. That is beautiful. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Standing by. Not enough, but it worked very well. I want Artemis here. Let's try to burn the soccer down. Got him. Talk to me. All right, shade. Is going to go vigilance. Roger that. Now, unfortunately, he took a big back strike, and we're not going to be able to get away. All right, so you're flying. You're flying. So we can only get the arrow one shot against him. Double grenade and thumper on this guy here. Let's try to warlord this. I think we want to go for the Estevez. Copy that. Nice damage out on him. LRMs are out. Orders. All right, Falcon. hundred percent going vigilance here and we're going to get into the back of this little panther and I don't like where he's positioning himself boomstick hello goodbye Target neutralized. get out of my life a pirate swordsman over there That's good to go All right, Orion. The question is, is it worth going after the Orion when we've... The Orion 2, rather, when we've invested so much into... On my way. Tearing him up in the back... And I don't think so. But I do like the idea of going after the Highlander. Manage one PPC, but not both. And now they are getting to go almost unopposed right now. Uh, with the Kobold. The Highlander going jumpy jumpy and hitting. Ooh. I give you props, good sir. Nice shot. Oh, two left in the convoy. Looks like the kobold is one of them. And I do believe the bill from this one is going to be significant. We do have a turn 17. And we have the Conquistador in 16. We may actually be able to get the Orion.
yeah, let's go for it. Uh, we're not going to hot load this because I don't want to risk the crits here. And we got him. Beauty. So here comes the Estevez. And this is why for endgame, you really need AMS. And you need lots of it. Are we even going to be able to hit the Mad Cat? I don't think so. I'm going to push up and we're going for the Archer here. We're going five shots. <laughs> Looks like the Mad Cat's standing on his head. That's just... It's a flying what? <laughs> Alright, turn 16, that would be the... That would be... I think it's the Mad Cat? Yep. Waiting for orders. Alright, Ajax. Oh, well, we've got you in everybody's back right now. Let's go for the alicorn here. Now we're going to crank up the machine guns. Good damage. And I think we just lost all of our ammo there. Or most of it, actually. Yes, Commander. Double time. All right, let's push up. We have range problems here. Yeah. Vision problems here. Now let's go with the Cobalt. We did get a nice crit in on him. Scored a critical hit. You've got my attention. Just copy that. We are rather toasty right now. Of course, we cannot hit the Mad Cat because he's way up in the air. I think we want to go for the Alicorn here. here we go. Triple AC-20 is kind of scary, not going to lie. Punch right through his armor. AC-2 ammo depleted. Now we need to get in that left side if at all possible. Fortunately, Double it is time. not. We need to risk the heat here. Firing on target. All right, AC twenties are down. Enemy that that down. is what we needed. Getting pretty hot in here, Commander. And while he's getting toasty, we can take a cool off turn next turn. Got it. And now we can punch the archer. I 
Actually, we have a pretty good hit chance against the Mad Cat here. I think we want to take that. Standing by. On my way. I know we're not getting out of the smoke screen here. We don't need the Gauss. We got the Cobalt. All right, we're getting there. Moving fast. And now we are going with LK because I want to attack the Mad Cat. Nice. We've got him open. Both legs. Orders. All right, what is our best shot? Good good against the Estevez, good against the Archer. Or actually even good against the Mad Cat. Let's go. There we go, lamb down. And that might be Ek on the ground. No. Yes, Commander. Consider me there. All right, let's push up and try to bait the Estevez here. I'm actually happy that he went after the Maxim here. Yeah, this is going to be Ek on the ground. And an engine crit. Ooh. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Okay. Alright, let's stand up. I've returned to a standing position. Confirmed. And even though we've taken damage, we are still highly combat effective. We just have Artemis, but we still have you know four hundred and eighty rounds of Artemis. Let's sensor lock this I've guy. We are going to push the Highlander very hard. Nice crits. Alright, T-Bone. Let's see, so the Estevez turns 16, the Archer turns 17, and the Highlander turned 18. So we want to go up against the Estevez first here. All out of SRMs, Commander. It's time to bug out. And the there he goes. Fashion. And now our next right, target Commander. is going to be the Highlander. And this is going to be Typhon ammo. On top of the PPCs. That's a critical hit. Ready for order. Very solid. Position confirmed. Engaging with top. Not quite enough to take him out, but we did get him on the ground. Ready for orders. On 
my way. Double time. Now we go after the archer here. It's going to be a slug shot with acid. We do get a head hit, but not Solid the right on that head one. hit. Order. I'm out of SRMs. Roger that. Shade. Shade is going to go Infernos here. Roger that. And we got the head Battle hit. Down. Ready. He's capped. And now we go in 100% against the Highlander. Goodbye. Tango down. Waiting for orders. All right, the only one left is the swordsman. Going full throttle. No. Nothing there. Need something, chief? The real question is how we're going to approach this guy. Roger. Yes, Commander. Rolling. Firing full salvo. Got his back open. I'm out of long range, Commander. Uh, you're done. Ready for orders. You are done. Commander? You are done. You've got my attention. Confirmed. And let's get some standard ammo his way. You brought this on yourself. Very good. Take that as a lesson. Orders. This is stand and shoot. Ready for orders. All in air. Confirm. Almost. Target's taking a crook. Commander? All right, let's go in with the LK here. And away we go. And we got him. All right. Great. So we took some big, we took some big lumps. We took some really big lumps. We are going to have to get a rebuild in on the Vulture. But we're going to get into all of the rebuilds, all of the fixes, all of the repairs in the next episode. So let's get our salvage and then we're going to wrap it up. But not bad at all. There's a lot of choice on, on the battlefield right now. There's the Orion 2C. There's Clan Tech. There's um, plenty of... Um, Hello, Ballistas. <laughs> that's the, the Estevez. That's the Thumper and the Grenades. That was interesting. We got Highlander parts. Archer, Alicorn. Bosses is mostly a Timberwolf, but some Goomba has crammed parts of two different lamb conversion systems in there. It looks like a champion and a Phoenix Hawk. It really shouldn't work, like, ever, but it looks like it will. It'll fly like a brick, though. <laughs> and we've actually got three parts of it. 
seriously tempted there. But one thing we do have to look at is money. Because we're going to need it because we took some lumps. So we take the sniper, we'll take the thumper. Both of them high value. We're going to take the claws. Fire control blood sport. I like to see that. Ooh, lower melee weapon. Very good as well. I think that's what we're going to take. I think this is what we're going to take. We'll confirm that. So we get Ballista, Estevez, Estevez, Cobalt. We get one part of the Timberwolf Lamb, one part of the Orion. Now we're going to sell the Bolt Ons, the LRM, the Sniper, and the Thumper because we need money. Uh, we sell the Cockpit, sell the Spiked Helmets. And that puts us with about a million sea bills. Oh, well, I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, and sub it. When you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever we come live with a new video. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.